Hi, this is Rick and thanks for joining. Today's topic is going to be an Excel 2010 quick tip. And today's uh, topic is freeze panes and how to freeze the panes in a spreadsheet. So what I've done here is that I've just created a very large spreadsheet. I've got about 250 rows um, of data and I've got about uh, 36 columns of data. And uh, what I want to do is share with you how to freeze the um, freeze panes for columns, rows, and to how to um, freeze panes for columns and rows together. So the first thing, uh, if we want to freeze the row, let's assume we want to freeze column A. What we do is we click on the very next row, which is column B, and we go to view, and we go to freeze panes. And we will go ahead and just click freeze panes, and now you'll notice if I scroll over, column A stays the same, and I scroll across and am able to uh, review the different uh, columns without without um, losing this uh, freeze on this column A. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm just going to undo that and now I'm going to go back up to the top here and I am going to uh, this time I would like to freeze row 1 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to freeze um, I'm going to highlight row 2 click it and then I'm going to go to freeze panes oh, let me up actually unfreeze panes uh, and now I'm going to go in here and I am going to freeze panes and now you can see that my top row is frozen so now um, let me go here again I'm going to unfreeze panes and now what I want to do is I want to freeze a row and a column sorry a row row one in column A. So what I want to do is highlight at the intersection here of between the two points that I want to freeze. So I'm going to go ahead and click freeze panes, do that, and now I can scroll over and now you can see both the top row and the column on the on the far left column A is frozen. That's what I want to share with you today. Thanks for joining and please subscribe. Take care.